fire, <laughs> firewood. How long did the game take? Yeah, I didn't get a final 350. time. 350. 350? Yep. Yeah. 350. Well, Coach, I mean, quite the homecoming. Yeah. Just the way you drew it up, I'm sure. I mean, how do you... I mean, how do you even process that with your team? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is I kept playing. I mean, obviously, there were some things happen early in the game um, that I would say would be basically on myself as far as, like, you know, you look at just fundamental stuff. and uh, You know, that's always the way we look at it when it comes to that. And, but the guys kept playing and uh, basically knew that, you know, you, there's nine innings in the game. And, Kept playing the game. Coach, with the way just the team was swinging, even before the nine-run inning, uh, did you yeah. kind of feel like a comeback was always kind of within reach? Um, you know, when it, tonight it did feel like, you know, when it was five a few times, I think twice, you're like, man, you're kind of right there. And so um, it did have a little bit of that feel. The guys seemed to be uh, excited about playing, excited about, you know, uh, playing nine innings and uh, seem to be again like trying to trying to do what you need to do to win the game. Coach, it feels like it's games ago at this point, but Girton didn't have his best stuff to start tonight. Uh, what was your message Man, to him getting through five or I, into the I'm fifth? I'm telling you, I'm really proud of him. Uh, I told him I thought you know really when you look back at it and you okay hey that's how many pitchers we used he. He really sucked it up and, and gave us a good five innings. And uh, we didn't help him any. Uh, he competed like crazy, you know, for the well, four and a third. And uh, really proud of the way he handled the whole thing. And Brandon Beckel puts up the only two zeros for TCU. Just how nice is it having him back in the, in the bullpen and obviously how he looked today? Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, Fun to get him back in a game and get him, you know, and see that, you know, um, we needed to get him in the game tonight either way. And uh, it's good that he came in and, and uh, put a couple of zeros up for sure. Coach, after a, you know, a tough road trip, is that the kind of, the energy of that game and that crowd, is that the kind of thing that just helps the team reset well, since, their since you mentioned the crowd, I'd really like to thank everybody for coming out, thank the people that did stay. You know, I wouldn't have blamed you for leaving either, you know, at a certain point in there. Um, and as far as energy goes, these guys have been doing a good job and playing baseball, the ball just hadn't bounced our way. And uh, they've been very mature about that. And, um, you know, obviously, uh, you know, we're, we're really trying to see what we can become and what we can evolve into more so than what's happened already. Anyone else? Yeah, one more. Go ahead. The only thing I was going to ask, and I'm it's just staring. With, I know with such a wild box score, yeah, but you mentioned well. yesterday uh, the chance with Vander Hay when you faced him again when he was at Kansas. Yeah. Kind of had a chance early to get on him and, and didn't, yeah. and he settled in, and, and today you did get on him. Yeah, you know, we really didn't even talk about that either. I mean, you really don't control that sometimes. What you can control is moving on the right pitch and having good at-bats. And um, Didn't happen last time. You know, and again, like, by the way, the guy they brought in there late, you know, on the seventh, eight belt's been very good. And our guys knew that. And uh, they put together some good at-bats against him. And, and so, um, but yeah, I mean, it, it's... Uh, we, we just came out on the right side of that as far as, and again, I, when you mention their starter, I think of our starter. Our starter really easily, you know, could have just said, man, two's enough. I mean, I've given up eight runs, and he gave us two more and allowed us to kind of a chance to, you know, basically a chance to shorten the game at the back end, which, he, which is what we did. You talked a lot about approach and extending at bats and moving on the right pitch and I mean particularly in that seventh several guys were working out of O2 holes to get those walks yeah. and, and things like that I mean yeah it kind of speaks to all of that, that yeah and we, had, and we had some breaks too I mean I know just off the top of my head I know Tracer had an infield single mm -hmm. right yep um, 
you know. And so there was a couple breaks in there, and um, but yeah, guys are. I think you have two they, fields in there. They've made the effort to do that, you know, throughout the year. And I think TCU did too. I mean, TCU did that from the start of the game. You know, they, you could look at it from that side also. Anything else? All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.